I remember when I was young and we got our very first telephone. <laughs> we had a party line. And a party line is something you don't hear about nowadays. But a party line is when several neighbors share one telephone line. And so even though they've got a phone in their house, you have to make only one call among that group of neighbors at once. I can still remember the frustration in my mom's voice when she had to make an important call. She'd pick up the receiver on the phone only to hear a neighbor uh, spending hours in what we might think was idle chit-chat. <laughs> can you imagine having a problem like that today in our era of cell phones and fairly easy communication between people. Things sure have changed. <laughs> you know, sometimes when I'm praying, I'll be sharing with God about what's going on in my life and maybe the things I have to do in the day. And then it hits me that what's going on in my life is not nearly as important as some of the big problems and big challenges that God has to deal with on any given day. And I feel a little guilty. I feel like maybe I shouldn't be wasting God's time. But I'm forgetting that God is not a party line. God can take millions and millions of calls at once. And more than that, God wants to hear about my day. Even about things that aren't as important as some of the big problems in the world because God cares about me and about my life. That's what the whole idea of God becoming a human being in Jesus means, that God cares enough to walk in our shoes, to hold our hands while we go through our day. And not just me, but all of us. That's a beautiful point. And it's an important thing to remember the next time we pray together.